y bienvenidos a todos. A warm welcome and thank you for joining us. Our guest today is the original country entertainer and Neil Diamond tribute of Mallorca, Mark Ritchie. A very warm welcome to you, Mark. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Nice to be here. Great. Now, first off, you've been on the island for how long? Uh, this year, 26. 26 years. 26 years. My goodness. Now, in that time, and obviously I was doing a little bit of research, and I mentioned country. Originally, I said country and western, but you put me, put me right there. Why not country and western? What's, what's, why just the country? What's A popular misconception. <coughs> country and western. Basically, country and western, up until about 1965, 1966, it was more the old guard of guys, you know, people like uh, I don't know, Hank Williams and all them. Basically about dogs dying and, you know, my horse yodeling. And <coughs> a bit of doom and gloom. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of doom and gloom. And uh, come the 60s, late 60s, early 70s, people like Kenny Rogers, John Denver, the Eagles, uh, Glenn Campbell. The music changed to, from being country and western to country. Basically, it became more popular, uh, more pop orientated. Uh, and in my opinion, the songwriting improved somewhat. So I do country music. Right, right. And you look very at home in your attire, if I may say. But, but country wasn't your first love. It, I mean, you I mentioned Neil Diamond. Is that, is that right? That was your inspiration? Yeah. Neil, uh, the reason why I play music, the reason why I ever picked a guitar up in the first place was uh, my sister had a, a record collection made up of a lot of Neil Diamond LPs. Uh, and I pinched them all. <laughs> <laughs> but he is still so popular, you know. I mean, for anything, he's getting even more popular oh, yeah, and still, so in vogue. I mean, he does some amazing yeah, work. Yeah, still very huge. The funny thing is that people don't realise Neil Diamond's first number one album in the United Kingdom was last year. Up until last year, he'd never had a number one album. I don't think it's troubled him too much, though, has no, it? No, <laughs> no. I think it's 190 amazing. million. I would yeah. never have realised So that. the very never first Neil Diamond that. album was number one. So when people say to me, uh, do you not do anything up to date? I say, yeah, here's one from the number one album right. from last year. There so. you go. Oh, good stuff. I've been actually looking at your website because there's some footage of you there. And it, it does, it really gets people going, doesn't it? It doesn't matter what age you are. Is it something you obviously like performing? Oh, yeah, the, di the Diamond stuff is very, very popular. Uh, I, I get a lot of, I do a lot of, well, I do some hotels in the summer and the age group right across the board. Mm -hmm. You can't go wrong with it. It's, it's the music. The music is fabulous. Uh, it doesn't matter what age you are. Mm -hmm. It's just superb. Keeps going, doesn't yeah. it? And, and back to the country, though. Have you ever ventured over to the States? Do you ever visit Nashville or anything like that? Yeah, we did Nashville. Uh, about six years ago, Sue and I, uh, we got to get to Nashville. And uh, I just fell in love. I fell in love with the place. Was that a work pleasure? Or? No, no, just on holiday. We, went to, we did a, a four-day stop over in Vegas. Oh, fantastic. And then we ended up in Nashville with 10 days. And uh, I ended up, well, when I say it's all pleasure, I, it was pleasure, but I ended up singing in every single bar I could get my hands on in, uh, oh, in Nashville. So I can actually put my hand up and say, yes, I've sang in Nashville. Oh, fantastic. I'm really very passionate about oh, it. Oh, love, love Nashville. I kissed, oh. kissed the ground when I got off the plane. Oh, but, and were you well, well received? How did it go? Yeah, oh, they love, uh, the, first of all, they love British guys singing American country. Right. They, they loved the whole idea of that, and also the fact that it wasn't the obvious stuff. I mean, when I was there, um, people like Tim McGraw, Kenny Chesney, George Strait, these guys, the Americans don't realize that we know who they are. Yeah, yes, <laughs> so when yes. they said to me, what do you want to sing? I think they were expecting me to sing stuff from the 70s, and I said, yeah, let's do some George Strait, some Tim McGraw, some Kenny Chesney. That kind of blew them away. They, yeah. they couldn't get their head around the fact that I knew who they were. So, and it's all live music, it's all bands, it's five piece, six piece bands in every bar you go in, 24 hours a day. Amazing, oh, amazing. Fab fabulous. Brings us on to the island actually, I mean that's something that you've noticed obviously, you know, the, or tell, it, tell me over the years how you've seen the changes with the entertainment here on the island. Yeah, it's, it's getting very tough, you know. <coughs> it's, uh, it used to be years ago you could, you could have three, four piece bands, five piece bands, I mean not everywhere obviously, but in a lot of places you could, you could see live bands. Now, unfortunately, due to the economy, it's it's down to solo acts trying to trying to do it on their own. You know, yes, it's it's yes. it's a lot easier when you have got four guys behind you. Without a doubt, I mean, the effect is is, is not so much that. It's the company. <laughs> Are you all there? Yeah, but the whole performance thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, look, know. visually, it's it it looks better, and mm. uh, 
but there again, you know, once you get used to using the, the tracks and using the, the digital backing tracks, that's when that's you know you realise you realise that you know it's the, far the, more accessible. The full, isn't yeah, it? the full arrangement. You, I mean, if if I sing a song with fifty piece orchestra in it, I've got a fifty piece orchestra in it. It's difficult to have that with a live band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And plans for the future? You've got. Uh, Gigs coming up for the summer? Yeah, no loads doubt. of gigs. Uh, a lot of gigs in, in Santa Ponza. Barcode 7, fantastic place I did last summer. Uh, I've got the Son Matthias Hotel, Palm and Over, every week. Just trying to keep going, keep playing. I love, I love my music, and, I love the, and the people that come and see me are very, very faithful. They come every year, and I, and I love them for doing that. Just try and keep an entertaining and keep trying to make a living, you know, because I love this island and I love the music. So. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Well, Mark, thank you so much for joining. I hope we get loads of people down at the Aroma Bar for you because that's a recent oh, one yeah, that's coming up. Mr. Neil Diamond coming up in the Oh, Aroma. Neil Diamond, <laughs> brilliant. Well, thank you so much, and maybe we'll get you back on to give us a little song in the future. I hope so. Thanks very much. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Coming up next is today's feature.